All right, so now you are in module five, lesson two. There we go, module five, lesson two, okay? And once you get through the first seven pages, which is where you do the reading lesson and your language lesson, you're gonna talk about story elements and theme. Well, once you've gone through that, which will take you some time, now at page eight, you are going to continue working on the writing that you started in lesson one. So in lesson one, you did the brainstorming. That's the step that comes before planning. But now it's time to do planning. So you read your texts, Lost in the Woods and Buried in a Blizzard. Hopefully you opened them in Cami, you did some highlighting, and then you decided on your opinion. So you copied your prompt into a document. Open that Google Doc. Go ahead, pause this video and open that Google Doc. Okay, so you've got your Google Doc open for your module five writing that has the prompt. You should have already filled in your opinion. In my opinion, blank is more legendary than blank because make sure you found two or three good reasons to support your opinion. You should have done that in your brainstorming. Well, now that you have this, oops. Okay, there's your prompt again. There's the texts again. You are going to do the planning. Now, if you do, if you do these pieces of the writing little by little throughout the lessons, you're not going to get to the end and be totally stressed out. Okay. So what you're doing now in lesson two is you're opening this graphic organizer. Look what it says. You will work on this throughout the module. Yay. So you're using this just to do your planning. Okay. My, sorry, the dogs are running around like crazy. If you hear that noise, don't worry. We're okay. <laughs> Perfect timing. Okay, okay, all right, hold on. Sorry about that. All right, they're outside playing now. So, you already have, you should already have your controlling idea. So go to your document. This is your controlling idea. This is where you state your opinion specifically and you introduce your reasons, okay? Now, in order to work in the graphic organizer, you have to open it in Kami, don't forget that. So if you have your controlling idea, which says, I think that this character is more legendary because blank, blank, and blank, okay? Well, then you're gonna go ahead and just plan body paragraph one. That's your first reason. I think this character is more legendary than this character because blank. I think this character is more legendary than this character because blank, reason number two. And I think he's more legendary than blank because blank, reason number three. In your conclusion, you restate it. So you're gonna say, these are the reasons that I think so-and-so is more legendary than so-and-so. So in your planning, it's not gonna be perfect. You don't have to have all of your complete sentences, but you do need to make sure that you list out your reasons and that you go ahead and, and put some of that evidence that you found while you were reading that supports your opinion about which character is more legendary. Now you're gonna see an example here, and this is an example using a different type of prompt, okay? Or a, a different text, sorry. And you can just kind of see how this student used their graphic organizer to prepare themselves for their writing. So are you going to write your entire writing in lesson two? No, you're filling out your graphic organizer. So in lesson one, you got the prompt, you understood the prompt, you read the texts, and you decided what your opinion was. In lesson two, you're filling in your graphic organizer. And then once you move on to your future out your future lessons, you're gonna be doing more and more writing. Okay? Now you're a fifth grader, so a little more is expected of you. So you will notice it might have you go ahead and start your introduction. So using what you have in your graphic organizer, 
you can start your introduction over here in a Google Doc. Or you can go ahead and you can just kind of make sure that everything in here is good. Take what you have here and then just turn the, that into complete sentences. Okay. That is module five, lesson two. All right. That's module five, lesson two. So after you've done pages one through seven, then you work on this. So if you're spending two hours a day on Buzz Language Arts, that's probably normal. That's probably acceptable. Okay. So Buzz Language Arts might take you a while. Okay. Because you've got the different parts of the lesson. So even though in this lesson you're taking a quiz, you're not doing a, um, a submission, you're taking a quiz, everything you're working on, this graphic organizer, your Google Doc, you're going to be turning that into me. So work on it now, save yourself some headache later.